Alright, alright, here we go. We're gonna finish out this list. Watch, it's gonna be like this one plays and all the rest of them. You cannot play back this replay. <laughs> just to just to show me what I get for trusting in this game system. Well, this Pinocchio Chang is the dude that blew up a toy. I actually can't believe that got like that does not look like it should have gotten over that 2C or 2D. <laughs> nice. <laughs> also nice. How did you not see that coming? That almost worked too. He stood up. It would have worked. Be a, be a man in range. Oh. No, okay. No! Oh, you can't get hit by that! Pinocchio, why? You're never gonna become a real boy if you just let Tanger wake up 360. How many other characters can actually do that? Like lift somebody up into a full jump loop? Damn! And then bring them back down and continue the combo afterwards. This Tager is oh, 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 Tager, please! Don't do him like that, he's just a puppet! You can only manipulate those strings at a certain speed! Fuck you! The Wheel of Fate is turning! Level one. one! Action! What's happening? Susano should be dead. No, yeah. Oh, wait, did he have active blow though? Yeah, he did. 4K. Fair and balanced. Good game design. Fuckers. Yeah, I really, like, the more I see Susano play, the more I feel like it's just. There's absolutely no reason. I mean, that kind of DP is a reason. But, like, mid block string, once he bypasses 2C, fuck it. been able to lose for that if he had started coming forward earlier. What the fuck? What the fuck? That was me level decision making right there. <laughs> I did not save these replays in order to see Nate level decision making. Come on, man. Impress me. What was that same? I think he was using Nauto, right? Some of the earlier replays. Technically some of the later ones, because they happen. I'm going backwards in time right now.
Is it just me or is S really boring to watch? I legitimately just kind of feel like I'm like yeah yeah like, whenever I watch her play. We've been starting to yawn. S, what are you doing to me? that a little bit. I feel like this bang is playing way too scared. It's like, it feels, I mean, you know, Bang is kind of like, close range, brawler kind of dude. I mean, obviously he can use the shurikens to get in, but like, he just keeps running away to a range where S is more effective than he is. It just always weirds me to see somebody who is like so definitively rushed down focus go backwards more often than they go forwards. <laughs> just baffles me. Also, was that really worth it? He was like five shurikens in that combo. That hurts. 30 seconds in, he's already almost out of nails. Cause that doesn't just like hurt his neutral, that hurts his combos. Significant. He recovers very quickly from that. I wasn't aware, like, I I believe... Oh, it does change, because see, it had nails right there instead of the spider. That's cool. Because I'm pretty sure I remember, like, seeing that and noticing that it seemed to be safe on block. But even on whiff, like, that was just an immediate recovery. Yeah, that was a bad choice against Kazuma. Ooh, come on! He deserved armor on that startup. Okay, not that he didn't deserve it on that. He certainly did. I don't, I'm not even really sure what's happened so far this entire round. Like, it's just. It, this, these, both these players are all over the fucking place. I can't not confirm counter hit anti airs like that. It sucks though, too, because if he tries to confirm it into 5C, but it wasn't a counter hit, like if he just does, you basically kind of have to just do 2A 5C. And if it wasn't a counter hit, they can check out in between and with punish you for that throwing out that 5C because the 5C won't hit. What the fuck? Good, good 
lucky that time. Oh, where's the rapid cancel, dude? <sighs> He's, that's not gonna kill him. Though. Just back dash. Oh. I'm being super judgmental. It's like he has a hundred meter. He's like one hit away from death. Of course. It would be fucking brilliant right there to not go for uh Jayako. Like it would have been a genius move to not do that, but it was so obvious. And so obviously, you know, you want to try and backdash that so that it whiffs and so they don't get to they're not able to rapid cancel it. It really does seem like Cora Picho very much prioritizes getting DP above anything else. That's a shitty part about multi-hit moves. You're stuck with them. That was pretty dirty. I'm actually surprised you blocked that. Oh, nice unburstable. Hold that. I wouldn't have been smart enough to do that. <laughs> That's one of the big things too about Tager being able to do a gadget finger rapid cancel and combo into 360B and then do the 360B follow. That entire chain is unburstable damage. It's actually really important sometimes for getting uh, finishes. Although I'm not sure what the minimum damage is. That's a bummer. I kind of feel like armor-based moves shouldn't fatal counter. On top of it, that feels like it's a bit over the top. Oh no! I feel like Carl just shouldn't exist. He's a little over the top. <laughs> That should have been punished. Oh no, he could lose off of that. That's actually what I was waiting for like the entire time. I was just waiting for him to throw that out and then rapid cancel it, but it hit. Because it's a really fast move. And plus, since it hits low, like, a lot of people won't be just blocking low that far away in the neutral game. Unburstable again, he's dead. That was just mean. <laughs> that was completely unnecessary, but you know what? That's a Carl player. I'll give you the pass. It's only been 13 minutes. Shit. Let's see if there's been any new replays. I mean, obviously, there's been new replays, but... If there's any new replays worth watching, shit, nah, because that was one. Of, this is one of the ones that I downloaded, so it's everything above this. Fuck it, let's watch some Amane. I haven't actually seen Amane. Oops. Fuck it, it's a bullet. Why not? With a 40% win rate. Oh no, you poor bastard. That's what you get for picking bullet. hate this why is it that everything in like everything in this game is just like you know it's generally okay but for this everything has to have a fucking flaw nothing can just function correctly I can't believe he got away with that. He should not have gotten away. Not with a chain directly in his face. It's interesting. 
two elo profiles. What? You could have gotten like 3.5k off of that! What? What are you- Now I'm just sad. There you go. There you go. There you go, bullets, oh baby. There you go. Get that win rate up. Just get fucking destroyed for throwing out 5D. It's a pity. Every time you throw out a 5D, you just get blown up for it. Eventually you'll learn. Nice. Nice. Not nice. Where was the finisher? Where was the Oki? There you go. There you yeah, that's a real hit come from. Okay, not really. He didn't have level 2. What are you doing? How did that not get punished? What? That was... Wasn't that command grab? <laughs> you do you, bullet, baby. You do you, girl. Wow. Alright, well. This one's gonna have to be a little bit on the shorter side because I don't got no other replay. Well, fuck it. Let's go let's just check it out. Oop, no, not here. Let's see what else they got. All the way at the bottom. Damn, did I really go through all of these? We wanted to see some Amani. Show me some Amani. Oh, I want to see some bullshit Rachel. Although, if the Mai was the one that uploaded it, we're probably not going to get to see bullshit Rachel. Yeah, see, because I downloaded that one, so I did go through all of these. Did we see this one? First Kagura? This might have been one of the unplayable ones, maybe? Let's find one more and then we'll, we're set. Fuck it. Two of my most disliked characters, let's go. At least I am actually care. yeah, okay. Historically, doesn't Arachnonic lose to the Marakamo units? I feel like he tends to lose pretty definitively to like any other zoning characters. Because most of the zoning characters are able to cover the angles at which he's usually trying to like float around and just kind of not be touched by most of the cast. Counter! That's dirty. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. Too many people throw out supers like that when it's so obvious that, like, their opponent is out of range. And they have no intention of, like, there's... Even just by their Paragon, they have the same exact setup, same, like, same round start. But, like, when they're playing a character like Lambda, like, they're not gonna come in on you, but it's against everything that their character does. So it's just a waste. And it's probably gonna need to kill to throw out a super in that kind of scenario. How did that knock dash to the hit? Yeah, that was actually a pretty solid call out. Oh, it does look like it still gave her curse though for blocking it. It's just I think when you don't block, oh, it's not gonna matter. Ow. 
That's actually not that painful for a 100 meter plus overdrive. Most characters would get a lot more than that. This poor Rachel player is legitimately just like run into everything. Damn! She keeps, but my player keeps expecting the uh. <sighs> All of that work just to lose to a drive throw. That's a bummer. But then, yeah, the my player keeps expecting the instant overhead, and they just they're not blocking low. That's one of the biggest advantages that characters like Rachel and Falconheim have, where it's just like they have unreactable highs. That makes their lows that much more dangerous. It's like it. <sighs> it's the same thing too. Again, a character like Valkenhayn or Rachel, like all of their offensive potential, everything at their disposal, you're not gonna be expecting the fucking guard break of all things. Oh, <laughs> like this, my player is so reckless, but somehow that Rachel just keeps getting caught. Should be good, right? No. See, he just keeps getting caught. That's one of those situations where, like, I legitimately feel like the Rachel was the better player. But. Just kept getting touched. So is that a guarantee after the she has an armor move? I didn't know that. But it's like after that sequence of moves, then they have to use the overhead. That would make it a lot easier to block. It's a little like it, because I think they've used it after I've seen it after C stuff, I've seen it after now that I believe those were B attacks. This poor Amane is not comfortable with their neutral at like they barely touch buttons. Which is like the opposite of what you would want like that character you want to put up a wall and make people scared to get through your buttons. But this dude's just kinda like floating around and just hoping that the dive shit hits. And then running offense from there. That was a bad idea. Nice burst, bay. Part of me really hopes they lose for that. 
I always hope somebody loses when they're just like, nah, fuck it, I'm not even gonna try. I'm just gonna try to go for this burst bait. And they just throw the game. That gives me a significant amount of satisfaction. But I feel like this Amon is gonna run into like Wake Up Super or some shit. This is the very definition of like. This is a train mode monster. Is how I would describe them. Like there's once they get somebody in Block Stunner in a combo, they are so confident in their setups and their combos and their abilities. But in neutral, they don't really. They look kind of lost when they're blocking. They look kind of lost. But the moment their offense gets going, suddenly they know exactly what to do. Wonder how long it's gonna take for the general online populace to stop being hit by a random OD raid. Like that's something that's just all but disappeared from high level Blaze Blue. Anyway, that's all I got for now. Gonna have to run and hide, repopulate the replay stuff eventually. Thank you for watching. I got nothing else. Peace!